Hi, I'm Deronda and today I'm making this simple, easy, yet scrumptious nachos. I'm going to start off with fresh tortilla chips. I have a blend of cheese here. I have shredded cheddar cheese and I have mozzarella cheese. I have one cup of my chili that I've heated up. I have salsa here and sour cream here. Now, if you'd like to add jalapenos to this, that's great. If you'd like to add more chili to it, that's great. If you'd like to add more or less cheese to it, that'd be great too. But the thing is, it's your call and that's what makes this nacho dish such a special treat. Make sure your broiler is on low and to start assembling the um, nachos, I'm going to add chili right on to the top of my tortilla chips. You can put a generous amount on, you can put less on, um, or you can make them up individually, whichever you like, but I just like to get a bunch of chips together and put on all these fabulous toppings. Okay, next we're going to add the cheese. So let's get the cheese added to it. And I like lots of cheese. Yummy, yummy. And now, let's put a little bit over here. And now we're going to put this in the oven under the broiler on low. So follow me. Under the broiler it goes on low and make sure that you use a non-stick pan. And if you don't have a non-stick pan, be sure to spray your pan or put a little oil on it so your nachos won't stick. All right, and keep your eyes on your nachos and you may need to turn your pan around a few times so they can melt evenly. And all that cheese against the warm chili and with the broiler on top will melt very quickly. My nachos are coming around very nicely. I've had them under a broiler for about two minutes and I just keep turning them around. Make sure you wear gloves. You don't want you to burn your hand and keep flipping it around and now they're sizzling. Ooh, look how golden brown and delicious those look. Mm, now I'm going to add the sour cream and the salsa to the top of these. Let's start off with a little salsa. Okay, if you want to add more salsa, that's great. If you want to add less, it's your call. That's what makes these nachos so wonderful. Okay, and now I'm going to add the sour cream. Um, I use a fork to just put little dollops of sour cream here and there. Now, if I had green onions, I'd be adding them to the topper right now. But unfortunately, I don't. So, this is the way I'm going to have to eat these fabulous nachos. Make them for the Super Bowl, make them for your kids as a snack, or just make them for a fabulous dinner for yourself or someone else or your family. Okay, there it is. Wonderful, delicious, fast and easy nachos. Gotta give it a try. Mmm. The best. Now for all of you hot fans out there, you can add your jalapenos as much as you wish. Hey, this is Deronda. I hope you give these a try. Thanks for watching and until next time, good eating. And remember, please subscribe.